इंडिया गिफ्ट्स मिसाइल कॉवेट आई एन एस किरपान टू वियतनाम ना वाई वुड इंडिया गिव ए फंक्शनल विच वॉज ऑलरेडी इन सर्विस मिसाइल कॉर्वेट टू वियतनाम वाई वुड वी गिफ्ट आवर इंपॉर्टेंट डिफेंस एसेट सी वियतनाम इज ए कंट्री विच हैज सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ टेरिटोरियल कंफ्लिक्ट विद चाइना दैट इंडिया हैज वियतनाम हैज दोज कंफ्लिक्ट इन साउथ चाइना सी ओके सो साउथ चाइना सी इज अ रीजन वेर लॉट ऑफ कंट्रीज सच एज वियतनाम फिलीपींस इंडोनेशिया चाइना हैज टेरिटोरियल क्लेम्स एंड दिस इज एडिंग टू द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ द सिचुएशन देर चाइना gradual increase of its control over south china sea by building artificial structures there is what is worrying countries other countries of the region including vietnam also through india's ongc videsh india is doing joint exploration with petro vietnam in south china sea offshore areas where lot of oil and natural gas is there china is protesting against that also so it is also about our energy security so what we want to do the way china is doing with india in term with respect to pakistan so what china is doing china is creating an enemy against india in the region and it is arming that enemy okay so same thing we also want to do in a tit for tat strategy vietnam is an enemy of china we also want to arm vietnam therefore we want to give different kind we are we are adopting different kind of means in order to arm vietnam as a counter to the china why china wants to uh, inculcate pakistan against india because china wants that pakistan should make india focus within the south asia and india should not try to expand india will also have that kind of strategy that in order to uh, support uh, countries like vietnam in the south china region india will compel china to focus in the region itself and not focus in the south asian region okay so this is the strategy that india is adopting and india is also trying to protect its interest in the sea in terms of it indo pacific strategy okay so we have developed quad etc in line of this this is also in line of india's two important policies one is sagar security and growth for all in the, all in the region and other is act east policy so these are the two important policies which are india is also trying to further okay now ins kirpan is the third indigenously built khukri class missile corbett now what is khukri class etc we'll see in later this mark the first instance of such a gesture from india to any nation okay now india has previously provided smaller vessels okay like to maldives mauritius etc even a submarine to myanmar we had provided but this kind of, this corbett class of uh, vessel we had the first time we are providing to any country the transfer of kripan reflects india's commitment to assist the like minded partner in enhancing capacity and capability okay with vietnam we have comprehensive strategic partnership all right so it was upgraded to comprehensive status in 2016 okay so under this we are supporting the uh, the vietnam's uh, defense needs also we have also offered the supersonic cruise missile brahmos to vietnam also the air defense system of akash missile to vietnam now what vietnam wants vietnam wants to indigenously produce these systems in in their own country uh, that's where the negotiations has actually got stuck india's intention is also to make sure that we have defense market market for our indigenously defense goods that we are providing or producing okay so this is also going to add to india's indigenous defense 
domestic manufacturing capability which is also india's core of the core national interest and foreign policy is nothing but an instrument to promote the national interest now defense cooperation between india and pakistan as i said that comprehensive strategic partnership since 2016 we have uh, already formalized and this is in line with the act is policy indo pacific vision okay mutual logistic support also we have signed now what is mutual logistic support mutual logistic support means that in the need india will be able to use vietnam's uh, naval facilities and vietnam will also be able to use indian naval facilities for any operation that each other's navy is doing for the purpose of repair replenishment etc so if india is on to the mission in the south china sea and india needs to make a port of call then india can use the facility of vietnam's ports where we can repair our uh, our uh, vessels and we can also replenish our vessels so this is an important mutual logistic support agreement that we had signed the two nations also signed joint vision statement on india vietnam defense partnership towards 2020 2030 which signifies the enhanced scope and scale of existing defense cooperation since we are offering to vietnam now the brahmos missile defense system missile system subsonic missile system it's a important development because it's a very very strategic weapon of india's military arsenal offering it to some country needs a lot of trust between the two nations and that's why this joint vision statement on india vietnam defense partnership towards 2030 is important because it's a futuristic partnership vietnam has procured already 12 high speed high speed petrol boats under the 100 million line of credit extended to it by india india further extended a 500 million defense line of line of credit to vietnam and discussions are underway to provide further defense equipment now why india is providing this line of credit to uh, to vietnam because india is selling its own defense equipment by you, by providing this line of credit right so we are able to export our indigenously made defense goods which is also helping our indigenous defense manufacturing capacity to sustain develop and augment itself okay india has also gifted two stimulators and monetary grants towards setting up a language and it lab at air force officers training school for capacity building of vietnamese armed forces okay so this was the important context in which we have to see this now let us uh, know something about corvettes frigates submarines etc and how they are named okay so india has aircraft carriers vikramaditra virat and vikrant okay now how they are named see try to understand the symmetry in this aircraft carriers all three are starting with the v letter v okay and since they are massive in size and weight therefore their name itself suggests that kind of prominence so they are virat vikrant okay so their name itself uh, resembling the the size and the looks of this okay now then we have destroyers how the destroyers are named destroyers are named after cities or capital of city or of a state for example chennai chennai is a city and it is a capital of tamil nadu so we have kolkata class destroyer in which we have three ins kolkata ins kochi and ins chennai all right similarly we have delhi class in which we have ins mysore ins delhi ins mumbai all are named after cities okay so destroyers are named after mostly cities but there can be exceptions also another thing in destroyers we have to note that these are rajput class so they are named after warriors like ranveer ranjit ranvijay etc now all are starting with r rajput rana ranjit etc all are starting with r now we'll come to frigates now frigates are named after geographical mountain rivers etc okay so you can see this shivalik class of so shivalik satpura and sayadri all are hill ranges all starting from alphabet s 
शिवालिक सतपुरा सायदरीज ओके द सेकेंड द सेकेंड क्लासिफिकेशन इन दिस फ्रिगेट्स इज यूजिंग द रेफरेंस ऑफ वेपन सो लाइक तलवार त्रिशूल तबार तेग तरकश त्रिकंड ऑल आर स्टार्टिंग विथ टी ओके देन देर इज कमरता क्लास इन विच आई एन एस कमरता एंड आई एन एस कदमत इज देयर ओके देन अनदर रिवर सो ब्रह्मपुत्र क्लास इज देयर सो आई एन एस ब्रह्मपुत्र आई एन एस ब्यास आई एन एस बेतवा ऑल स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम लेटर बी सो सी द सिमेट्री इन दिस देन द कॉवर्ट इज कॉर्वेट्स सो कॉर्वेट्स आर लाइक कोरा क्लास ऑल स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम के ओके खुकरी नाउ दिस इज अ वेपन सो किरपाण कुठार खंजर खुकरी ऑल आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम के एंड इट्स ऑल्सो नेम्ड आफ्टर वेपन ओके सो सिमिलरली यू कैन टॉक अबाउट सब मरीन्स नाउ सब मरीन्स ऑपरेट अंडर द सी सो मोस्टली समटाइम्स दे आर रेफर्ड दे आर नेम्ड आफ्टर फिशेज और सम शार्क्स ओके सो वी हैव सम समथिंग कॉल शंकुश सो शंकुज इज नथिंग बट अ रे संस्कृत नेम ऑफ अ रे राइट सो अ फिश कॉल्ड स्टिंग रे ओके आई एन एस कलावरी ना आई एन एस कलावरी इज कलावरी इज नथिंग बट द मल्याली नेम ऑफ टाइगर शार्क ओके सो नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द नॉमन क्लेचर ऑफ दिस कॉर्वेट्स इज ऑल्सो डिजाइंड and if you see the uh, water related things are also used in the nomenclature of uh, of submarines like sindhu ghosh sindhu dhwaj sindhu raj sindhu veer all starting from letter s sindhu astra okay so uh, you can uh, understand uh, you can try to remember these names because they can come any time in prelims so when i touched upon this uh, issue of uh, corvettes then i also thought of uh, try to give you some easy points so that you can memorize prelim specific things out of it also mm-hmm.